Tropics version 1.2 adds a whole bunch of new and useful features. The most significant change though is the ability to program your own scales and to sequence them. This unlocks many new creative possibilities. Let's take a look. If I play this sequence and click on scale, you can see we're playing major scale in the key of C. As I turn the encoder, it selects different scales and you can hear the, them updated immediately on the currently playing track. So we've added this new feature that if I click while on a scale, you can see this little lock icon. And this means that I've locked the selection. So even though I scroll to other scale locations, you don't hear any change because it's locked to the major scale. I go to a new location that I like, I can click again, and now we are locked on this new scale. So now we've changed from major to minor pentatonic. As I'm browsing, you'll see the little magnifying glass to signify that we're in browse mode. I go back to that lock track, I can click again, and now that feature is disabled. So we can scroll and we'll hear the updates happen in real time. Some previous versions of Metropolis had a bunch of standard scales, some exotic ones, and then these chord shapes too. At the end of these, we've added 100 new slots where you can put your own scales. These are organized into 10 banks of 10 scales, so there's 100 slots in total. If you see this little circle with a circle around it, that signifies there's an action if you press and hold the encoder. So in this case, it indicates that we can edit the scale. So if I press and hold this, I now have this little cursor, and whatever key I want to turn on, I can toggle it by clicking it. So, so C, E, G, on a major scale in the key of C, or a major chord, rather. And I can transpose this chord to a different key if I want. With Get out of this, let's go back to C. And if I want to save it, just press and hold. And now scale one one has a C major chord stored there. And I can go and edit all these other slots too. I'm gonna go to bank two, where I've already stored four different scales. You can see them here. They're the same examples that are in the manual. And what I wanted to demonstrate is that another powerful feature that we've added is the ability to select scales within a bank. So I'm gonna make scale bank two, number one, the focus and you see now that the lock is there but there's also the word mod which means that we can modulate so we're basically setting a start point and we're saying we're selecting scales relative to position number one and I can either select up which means going ascending in the list one two three four five or I can go negative um, which would wrap around so I go scale ten nine eight seven six etc and on the Metropolis, we can select these with CV, and what that means is I can select it with the aux inputs, control inputs, or with mod lanes. Just to start, I'm going to assign control one to scale, and you can see it says user plus minus because it's a bipolar control. So now I've done that, this will actually select different scales for me as I change it. And the middle position will be whatever scale is the locked scale. So another new feature, is if I go to the home screens, screen number two has a lot more information on it now, including transposition, and in the left, you can see it's showing me the current scale. So we had locked it to scale of bank two, scale one. You can see as I turn this, it changes to other scales. And since I made control one only apply to track one, only track one is changing. You can see track two is staying at scale number one. So now we have a way that we can select different scales for track one and two, independent of each other. Um, the only caveat is that they need to be from the same bank. So you can program something where there's complementary sets of scales, uh, which could include, for example, chords that you think would work well together. Using this example, I'm gonna make a simple chord progression using mod lanes. So I'm gonna go to mod lanes, also going to select as a target the scale for users. I'm going to make the destination track one and two. 
and then I'm going to make the length four because I have four scales I want to select between. And I'm going to divide it by eight because I want this change to happen every clock pulses, so the equivalent of one run of the sequence. So now if I go to my sequence here, you can see it's advancing. I'm going to make a staircase. So now you have a poppy 50 sounding scale progression. Change the order. Really, you can experiment however you like after that. Um, and what's interesting is that we're not only selecting scale, but also a different root note because it depends what we've we've stored in that scale. So they could all be the same key or they could all be different keys. But there's a lot you can experiment with this, especially when you have um, really complicated interaction between two different scales. And that could sound very dissonant, but it could sound cool too. It's really up to you what you do with it. So hope you have fun exploring.